Hi everyone and welcome back to our second video tutorial of DJI Terra. Today we will be guiding you through the processing of LiDAR data captured by the Zen Musa L1. The L1 is the first LiDAR sensor released by DJI following a long list of drones and drone mounted cameras. Data processed from the L1 takes the form of a highly detailed and dense point cloud and this can be generated with ease in DJI Terra. For instructions on how to download and install DJI Terra, or how to process photogrammetry data, please see our earlier video at the link provided. Launch DJI Terra and on the main screen select New Mission, and then LiDAR Point Cloud Processing in the pop-up window, and give the project a suitable name. Then you can import the folder in which the LiDAR data is contained. The density of the point cloud can be switched between high, medium and low. These options will change the number of points generated and therefore the processing time. The output coordinate system can be selected. As with the photogrammetry processing, the arbitrary coordinate system will be the projected WGS84 datum for the area in which the data is captured, but another coordinate system can be chosen if desired. Under parameters, the maximum distance between the sensor and the point can be set which means points at a greater distance than this are not generated. This reduces the number of points that may have been erroneously measured, for example from multipath. There is also a setting to optimize the point cloud accuracy, which we recommend to turn on. The desired outputs can then be selected. The PNTS format is the default and cannot be switched off, but other common point cloud formats are available which do not add a lot of processing time. Then the processing can be begun by selecting Start Processing. Once complete, the point cloud will be shown in the viewer. If the camera on the L1 was turned on, the point cloud will be shown in real color. Points can also be displayed by intensity or elevation. Annotations, point coordinate queries and length, area and volume measurements can also be made. Finally, a quality report can be generated, although this contains limited information at the time of recording. For further analysis, the point cloud can be exported back at the main screen. Select the project and click Export. Then select 3D models. All reconstruction outputs will be exported so only reconstruct the formats you desire. These could then be opened in post-processing software for further analysis and editing. So that's it from this video. We hope that has given you an overview of the straightforward and relatively quick workflow of processing data from the Zen Musa L1 in DJI Terra. If you have any questions or suggestions, leave them below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to not miss out on our future videos, and thanks for watching.